what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh, I know it's been a minute since I've really been making videos but I've just been doing some other stuff outside of YouTube and uh, having fun you know being around my family more doing more working just doing a lot more stuff I actually started another channel of uh, doing golf which I've actually been getting into golf and hanging out it's uh, one of the hobbies of mine that I do but we're gonna start making content filming golf with me and a group of my buddies doing funny stuff being real playing golf doing stuff just surrounding around that kind of stuff so if you guys want to check it out I'll just I'll link it in the description below but in today's video we're gonna be doing another unboxing and review on a product that a company sent to us we have featured them on the channel before. It is Yida Motors. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So I wanna thank you guys, first and foremost, for sticking with me. We are over 1,700 subscribers. We are going towards that 2K mark. Uh, once we hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway because if you guys are new, I started a rock light company and I also sell wheels and tires. We sell rock lights, wheel lights, all kinds of aftermarket lighting. I'll link in the description the website below, but we are gonna give away some wheel, either wheel lights or rock lights for you guys, just to show my appreciation back for you guys. That'll be coming up soon once we hit 2K, so let's keep going. But I wanna thank you guys, all the new subscribers, current subscribers, everybody who drops a like and watches the videos. Uh, that's always great. If you guys can keep doing that, drop a like, comment, turn the post notifications on so you are notified every time I post a video. That'll be awesome. You guys have been awesome, so let's keep it up. But like I said, today we are going to be doing an unboxing from Yida Motors. It is a Tanu cover. Tanu. I've never really pronounced it that or call it that. I just call it a bed cover. It is a tri-folding bed cover that they sent us, and I was actually looking for a bed cover, so we are gonna open it up, look at the overall quality, we're gonna install it, and then talk about it after and see if it's a bang for your buck. I always keep it real with you guys on here, so we are gonna see if this bed cover, Tanu cover, is actually worth it. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna show you guys the box it comes in, open it up, and then we are going to try to install it. So first glance, this is the box. As you can see, we have Yida Motor, Tano Cover, their logo. This is what the box looks like that it comes in. Um, I would say, I mean, it's packaged very nice. They put extra tape on it, you know, so it doesn't come apart. But it's not too heavy, but let's see what's inside of it. So once you open it up, you have the cover. Wrap, wrapped and packaged pretty, pretty nice. Then they give you this extra cushion padding which I believe when you put this on this is to help seal so like across the top of your bed row right there you would put this across like this I believe and it would help just to kind of seal so that no water or no rain gets in there I've never put one of these on my bed and I think this one goes for the tailgate I want to say it goes across the uh, tailgate right here I've never actually used any of this padding or anything, so I probably won't in the future. Or, sorry, not in the future, in the past. I've had a try folding one just like this. I've never used it before, any of that, so I've never actually had any problems with it when it came to putting it on. So right here we have the assembly instructions, as you can see. That is it right there. You can see the uh, folding levels that it does, but it's supposed to sit just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, try to do this one-handed. Open up these instructions. And right here in the instructions, thank you for your purchase. Oh, it's not a tri-folding, it's a quad. I thought it was a tri-folding. It's a quad fold soft tonneau cover. So let's look and see in the directions on assembly. Right there, tells you everything you get from the clamps, seal strip, LED light. Wow, they give you an LED light. I didn't even know that. So right there, it shows you, like I said, the seal strip that goes on the back. If you want to put that across the back, then it'll show where you lay your cover on the back. Unfold it, fold it back. Basically positioning it on top of the bed rails and for it to sit how you want. Then you'll come back and if I can turn this page, I think that's it right there. 
it has these hooks as you can see right there that will actually hook these hooks right here they will actually hook underneath you can see that underneath your bed rail right there I will actually show you guys when we put this on I will go underneath after we install it because I'm gonna do like a time-lapse of installing it I will go underneath and show you guys exactly how they hook but they will hook underneath your bed rails you'll twist it until it is at your whatever you want to you know tighten it to whatever you would like you know it it's all on just whatever you want to do but you will tighten them down as tight as you want to just get that seal so that rain won't get through but I, I guess you would say at your own desire whatever you desire it to be how tight so I was looking for a word and I couldn't come up with it but your own desire and then like I said it shows right here on another knob to where you would clamp the other bed rail and then like I said it just shows you right here then you would tighten it down how to basically put everything assembled for this and right here the cool thing is like I said it has all these pictures some of these companies don't really detail pictures like here it actually shows you some stuff this is for Tacomas because this also does fit other trucks I believe this is for the 11 through 16 but like I said it comes with detailed pictures and that's actually pretty nice because like I said some of these companies don't do that but what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to set a time-lapse up um, I might talk through the time-lapse off-camera while you guys are watching but I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up on the tripod probably on the roof of my truck angle down so you guys can see where we're putting the bed cover and what it'll look like or I might set you up on a tripod behind me I haven't decided yet but either way you guys will see how we're gonna put this on I'm gonna put it up match it up show you and then go back into a time-lapse of actually hooking everything and then like I said we will get underneath it and show you guys how to tighten the clamps and everything and then we will see how this bed cover looks and you guys will get to see how easy it is to install and then at the end you can see if it's for you or if it's not and then we'll talk about the quality and whether i think it is a must or a bust so let's go ahead and do that right now Alright, so I'm not really sure if you guys can see, it's pretty dark on here, but as you can see there's these clamps right here, I'm not really sure, I guess this is just for extra security, I guess, if you wanted to put it there, I've never really used these before, so, don't really know, I'll probably end up taking that off, but there's these clamps with these rails that they slide, and there's these little notches, there's one, two, three, so you would slide this out to your desired uh, area or depending on where your bed rail is but you want it to be fully vertical not slanted so I slid it over to the second notch and what you'll do is you will end up coming right here and then pulling let me slide this back you'll end up doing that right there pulling that and then you will put this clamp just like that I don't know if you guys can see just like that how it is completely vertical straight up and down and then what you will do is you will come here just like this this clamp will come up and go right there so what you want to do is just turn it and start tightening mind me mind you I'm also doing this with one hand you will turn it just like this and start clamping down until you get it as tight as you desire it on your bed rail so that the cover is nice and tight and sealed so that rain will not get through. So I am just right now tightening mine. That's pretty tight. It isn't going to go nowhere. The uh, quality of the metal is pretty nice and it's pretty simple and easy. So like I said, you tighten it down to your desired fitment. Now we're gonna go to the other side and do that. And there are various, uh, there's one, two, I think there's eight in total that we gotta do that to down the bed rail. So I'm gonna set you up on a time-lapse 
and we are going to start doing that to the rest of them and then after I will come underneath the cover with you guys and show you what it looks like and we will go from there. So there you have it, got the nice little Yida Motor logo right there, that's it right there. Uh, actually sits pretty nice, I mean this is from where, you know, the notch is where it folds, but it's actually on there, you know, sealed pretty nice. Um, looks pretty nice, I think it uh, goes with the truck very well. Um, like I showed you guys, it's actually pretty easy install. What I'm going to do now is go open up the tailgate and we will go underneath the truck or underneath the bed and show you where each hook was and just kind of maybe detail briefly just a little bit again and show you guys, uh, you know, each and every spot and kind of just go over it more a little bit in depth in case you didn't get all of it. So I guess I figured out what this is. This is just an extra clamp, I guess, that would go in the front that you would put on your bed rail to securely tighten more for the cover. So you would loosen this clamp, slide it over here, tighten it down so that it would pull more. So, but here's the clamps that we were talking about. And like I said, the quality is really nice. You just got this knob, you would, there's notches right here as you can see, put it in whichever notch is closest to your bed rail, tighten it down to your likening, and then there's also these clamps right here, you would uh, do the same thing, you tighten them down, you loosen it like that, you twist it around, you spin it around like a little spindle, tighten it, find it on the notch that you want, and then you would just push down like that, and it tightens, and it clamps down so it's a pretty cool design it's just like every other one I would say the quality is really nice these straps are when you fold the cover and you can lock it in case you have to put something in your bed but I'm gonna get out of here because it is really hot and it is dark So what I'm going to do now for you guys is just kind of give my overview and like final thoughts. Um, I definitely think, I think it's $249 on the Amazon store. I'll link it in the description if you guys want to go check it out. Um, yeah, I think it's a good buy. I really do. For a tonneau cover that's, I mean, some of them are in upwards of five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800. I think it's a nice one. I thought it was a triple folding. It's actually quad. It folds four times and I think it comes in handy. I would say that the overall presentation of it and in the box and the way it's shipped is actually really good. You know, it's all nice plastic wrapped, you know, everything is covered and uh, the instructions are very simple. A lot of these companies don't even give pictures, but I would say overall it's really nice. The quality's there. Um, the clamps that you uh, clamp down are very simple and easy. The material actually feels nice. It's, uh, I would say it's like a leathery kind of material, so I really do want to see when the, uh, it rains multiple times how it'll hold up. 
but I like how they also have the logo and it's stitched easily on there so you can see it's from Yida Motor but like I said it's it's not that bad I mean the only thing I would probably complain is that when you see when you go across the bed rails is it's a little rigid but I know that's also for it to fold I mean if you don't like folding ones you can get roll up ones or you can get the automatic ones that you hit a button the roll and lock and it unlocks and it does it all for you but again this is on when I do these unboxing videos this is the best bang for your buck it's not always the most expensive and the most flashy stuff so like I said if uh, this fits your budget and you were looking for a decent one I would totally recommend looking at this like I said the easy install everything comes nice and packaged I think it maybe took me in total other than filming this video would have taken me literally 15 minutes from the minute I opened the box to putting it on, fitting everything, and then shutting the tailgate and it working. So, like I said, shout out to Yida Motors for sending us that, and we got to make some good content out of it. I want to thank you guys if you've made it this far. I want you to uh, drop a like, comment on the video. Like I said, I've got more videos coming out. I create another channel, doing other stuff, you know, trying to just do more content. So if you guys want to go check it out, I will drop it down below in the description. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys, and I want to thank each and every one of you that's been supporting, whether you're new, returning, we're just going to continue to grow. We're on that road to 2K, so let's go ahead and see if we can do it, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.